thanks for staying with us to Taraba State Now. In collaboration with the United States government and the National Agency for the Control of AIDS, NARCA, the state has made a move on the second awareness campaign on HIV and AIDS to reduce the incidence rate to 0%. The Director General of NACA, Kambualiu, who led the U.S. delegation to Jalingo, said, while the world continues to battle COVID-19, attention cannot be taken off the deadly HIV and AIDS, which still has no cure or vaccine. Details in this report. The United States tragedy affair to Nigerian Catholic Faith Gibbon is part of the delegation to Government House Jalingo. Their mission is to intimate the governor on the commencement of second phase campaign on HIV in view of covering the killer virus at midst of COVID-19 pandemic. The DG of NACA says the agency is impressed with the medical structure put in place by Governor Darius Ishaku, which they believe will go a long way in curbing the spread of HIV. Um, your ability to link the 150 primary health care with these um, three specialist hospitals for supervision, um, your ability to train traditional bad attendants to attend to pregnant women in the rural areas give us hope and confidence. Governor Darius Ishaku told the delegation that through deliberate and concerted effort of his administration in less than a decade, the prevalence rate in the state has dropped from 10.5 in 2012 to 2.9 as of 2018, while the level of stigmatization has gone down drastically through high sensitization. I remember it was Taraba and I think Abia. And so I left my letter of plea with him. I was pleasantly surprised when I met Kathleen and she told me she's coming today. And that one of the key points was to reactivate and give us the HIV assistance. The United States tragedy affair to Nigeria Kathleen Fitgibbon believes Taraba offers good grounds for the collaboration to end HIV and AIDS. She's impressed by medical facilities put in place by government, promising to meet critical stakeholders and chance a way forward on their next line of action. Because ultimately the people living with HIV are living within these states. And we challenge the governors to do a number of things. Uh, help uh, allocate more resources towards HIV, uh, end user fees, end stigmatization. Because the more you see an executive governor setting an example, and talking about HIV and making people feel comfortable to go in and identify uh, whether or not they have HIV, that's the first step towards ending the epidemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has drawn the attention of key players away from HIV and its killer, which is yet to get medical breakthrough. Well, unfortunately, Nigeria and indeed the world are still plagued by deadly diseases. And this is a call for all hands to be on deck to combat these ailments. Moving on to Adamawa State now. Following the ongoing strikes embarked upon by the National Association of Resident Doctors, over 7,000 uh, patients with various illness have trooped out for free medical outreach, organized by the lawmaker representing Southern uh, Zone Adamawa. The outreach, which took place in Tongo local government area, saw patients from all parts of Adamawa and other states uh, throng the venue. One of the highlights of the four-day medical outreach is the successful surgery of ectopic pregnancies by two patients who could not get treatment as a result of the ongoing strike embarked upon by the National Association of Resting Doctors, NARD. The parents of the patients say for over two weeks they have not been able to see a doctor at the Federal Medical Center, Yola, and could not afford the cost, but as of today, their children are recuperating. The lawmaker representing Adamawa Southern Zone, Binos Yaro says his decision to embark on the exercise is due to the importance he attaches to the health needs and survival of his people. He promises that the medical intervention will not end with the completion of the remaining arteries in three local government areas, but will continue while he remains at the National Assembly. I've done things in other areas, but like I keep saying, my priority is health. So that is where I put more of my effort, you know. And like I said in the opening day, uh, you need to fall sick before you know the importance of being healthy. 
And uh, if you have all the money in this world and you are not well, you will not enjoy that money. So health is number one, then other things can follow. Some of the medical practitioners at the venue lament the series of the challenges they have faced since the NAT strike. They, however, appeal to the federal government to do everything possible to address the needs of the resting doctors. In the position of carrying this treatment, actually the challenges we face, you know, um, I have to make this one clear. This particular medical outreach is coming up when uh, there is almost a total collapse of the health sector at the federal level. And because of that, we have massive number of people coming from uh, Numan, Cameroon, Yola, and I believe it's because of that problem we have. It was always held in, in Genye, but now it has come to, to our area, and it is our people that are going to enjoy this thing. So some have come. So we started, we joined hand together with them. They also used our staff here together with them, so we work together with them hand in hand in solving this, uh, serving this uh, free health care here. Earlier, the lawmaker who expressed worry over the massive turnout promised to take up the matter to the National Assembly for swift action. Still in Adamawa State, but to security matters. The state police commander has arrested over 1,184 suspects for various offenses and recovered 20 AK-47 rifles in the last nine months. State Police Commissioner Adamu Aliyu, who disclosed this, says over 400 suspects have already been convicted, while 720 are awaiting trial. According to CP Aliyu, the commander arrested a 21-year-old suspect in connection with the recent killings of seven in Dasin Boate. He said they also dislodged and apprehended over 400 armed Sheila boys who have been charged to court. The Commission of Police says the command has equally succeeded in training and retraining of officers through workshops and seminars. Because fighting crime, in fact, crime always, uh, a criminal is always a step ahead of any security agent. If it's not to we rest in our office or houses, then the criminal will become. That's why we are always after them. We should all take note that criminals are one step ahead of any security agent. So with the other one in mind, we have to wake up and press up to the challenge so that the people, tax money that are being paid as our dues and salary will not just go in grain. Meanwhile, the Damawa State Commandant of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Mohamed Idris, applauded the giant strike of the police command. But however assured of a good work relationship with the police to completely eradicate drug trafficking in the state. And one of his is the NDLE, who are the primary responsibility that uh, have to handle all illicit substances. And today we thank him for what is handed over to the NDLE. And like as he has said, by the time you take drugs off the society, you are thinking about 60 or 50 percent of the other crimes. Because I'm sure all the people that were arrested with these, you see that drugs or substances were ar arrested with them. They take these to get high. And it's when they get high, they commit what they think ordinarily, ordinary people should not do. The NDL gay bus urges religious and traditional leaders to create awareness to the team in years so that the rate of drug abuse will come to an end. And finally, on this week's edition of PLUS Reports, the Independent National Electric Commission has commended the youths for coming out in mass for the just concluded first phase of the continuous voter registration exercise. Messi Ibuku tells us more on this report. The first phase of the continuous voters registration exercise across the country, conducted by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, ended on the 20th of September 2021. The National Commission and Chairman of Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, says the exercise witnessed a huge turnout of young Nigerians, disclosing that some states have completed the process. As at, um 20th September 2021, we have a total of 2,992,902 uh, uh, youths who have registered uh, on, on, online. So in terms of completed registration in Anambra, 
we have a total of 138,795 completed registrations in Anambra State. Uh, but if you look at the figure uh, from the different areas, uh, for instance, uh, Sokoto State has a total of uh, 35,202 completed registrations. Um, Kwara State has a total of 30,703 completed registration. Um, Lagos State has a total of 25,582 completed registration. Um, Oshu State has a total of uh, 63,259 uh, completed registration. Uh, Cross River has a total of 18,938 completed registration. Y Rivers has uh, 37,290. So this is the way we segregated this registration exercise on the basis of geopolitical zones. Ahead of the 2023 elections, the commission says it's targeting at least 20 million new voters to the existing one. But how effective is the registration portal and what is the level of awareness created by INEC? If the security situation improves and we are able to deploy uh, to the uh, to the walls or the registration areas, the, the implication is that there's a possibility that we may register over 10 million uh, voters uh, during the second during the during the second phase. Now, what is the awareness level of Nigerians as regards the registration portal? For Nigeria, the literacy level is very low, so I, I doubt people are really going there to register. I'm aware of the registration. I've not registered, but I have some friends that registered, and it was okay. Despite the sensitization created by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, a lot of people still say they are not aware, while others are not interested. Messi Ebokbo for PLUS TV Africa. Well, the question is, do you have your PVCs? Have you registered? If no, please endeavor to do so during the second phase, as 2023 is just around the corner. And that's all on this edition of PLUS Report. Please follow us at PLUS TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel at PLUS TV Africa. I'm Jacinta Obiugu. Thanks for watching.